Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net. I'm joined by Luke from Linus Tech Tips. Hello. And we're here at an NVIDIA event near London, sort of outside of London, talking about laptops today. So before we get to that, this coverage is brought to you by iWebPower and the new Elements PC, which has the large tempered glass window. So Luke, we looked at the 1060, 1070, and the 1080 yep. in laptops. All in laptops. Right. And they're not M's. But the 1070 specifically is like kind of the mobile version. Right. Because there are some changes. Yeah. So I think it had more CUDA cores, but at a lower That's speed. right. Yeah, 2048 CUDA cores on right. the laptop and 1920 on the desktop. Yeah. The speed's lower. It's actually like a pretty significant difference. But the end result is supposed to be within 10%, give or take, depending on different games and right. applications and stuff. Yeah, and, and to that uh, sort of percentage, there is actually room for manufacturers to play with like a factory overclock too. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we were talking about uh, in the presentation earlier, looking at overclocking, they used Afterburner. Uh, what they overclocked to is like... 2062, I think, right. on a 1080. Right, so about over two gigahertz on a 1080. And I think it was only at like 72 degrees. Something like Something that. 72, 73, I think it was somewhere around there, which yeah. is crazy, considering my Asus Strix back home got almost 2K, not quite, and right. was at like 76 degrees or something. That's going off of memory, but that's pretty impressive considering it's mobile. Right, yeah, so we'll see like uh, sort of what the fan speeds are and things like that yeah, later. Definitely. But How loud it is and whatnot. So okay. the 1080 stock clock was 1733. 1070 we talked about, the 1060, basically the same thing as the desktop. Right? Yeah, as, as far as the presentation showed and then right. we weren't able to benchmark it here or anything like that, so. Right. It's, it's considering the 1080 did seem to line up properly in benchmarking stuff, I'm sure the 1060 does as well. Right. Yeah, and you, you ran some benchmarks as well. Yeah. So I'm sure the Linus Tech Tips channel will have that. Yeah, if anyone's we, will, interested. we will have those benchmarks. I, they're just in like the camera right now and I haven't right. done direct comparisons. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll yeah, have that on I haven't video. either. We, we did some of the just Shadow of Mordor benchmarks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that pans out. But uh, so 1070 and 1080 for those, 1060 we don't know yet. We didn't hear a price either, right? There's no pricing at all. No prices, because and it makes sense. They were saying that that's more up to the manufacturer of right. the laptop, and that does kind of make sense. In terms of TDPs, they were saying that it lines up where the, the 1060 has a similar TDP of the 970M, right? and the 1070 had a similar TDP of the 980M, and then the 1080 has a similar t TDP of the 980 non-M. Right, which was also in laptops. Yeah. Last year or two years ago, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so there's that stuff, and then for uh, other specifications, all the cooling, all the chassis, all that's obviously up to the manufacturers. Totally, yeah. Um, yeah. But the GPUs themselves, uh, Still, all Pascal architecture, uh, GP Boost 3.0, Afterburner was used for overclocking. Um, what else were we looking at? And they there? don't seem to be screwing around with like, like they're not on a different chip. Like if, if it was GP 106, it's still GP 106. Right, that's a good point yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, so they're all GP 104, 106. Yeah. Uh, or 102, yeah. And so um, it's not like the M's. Where yeah. it's like slightly where they can yeah. screw around with things and change what chip right. you're actually getting, and it, it's it's more straightforward, which is actually kind of nice because someone coming from the desktop side of things mainly, whenever I would look for laptops, especially like a long time ago, the M editions would just completely <laughs> throw me off. Yeah, and that's also for a, from a benchmarking standpoint, it's interesting because you can kind of compare like a 1080 to a 1080 on a laptop. Yeah, there's some we'll talk about this in our reviews, but like. Uh, some issues with obviously CPU, you know, yeah. platform is not 100% the same. Yeah. Still a good comparison though. Totally. Um, yeah. Then there's new display tech too. It's up to 120 hertz now in some yep. monitors. Yeah. So you got 120 hertz, and then what was the other? G Syncs and most things. Yeah. Uh, 1440p and a lot of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And then they were saying that there might be 1440p 120 hertz laptops. Oh, that's right. They yeah. didn't have any here. But right. they're saying maybe down the line and whatnot, so we'll see. Yeah, I guess uh, technically I think it's possible. Yeah. So, um, but 144 or even just any higher refresh rate, 120 hertz on uh, on laptops at all is pretty new. So. Yes, very uh, much so, and that's pretty cool because 
Well, like, personally, I'm not super worried about gaming on right. a laptop. The only gaming on a laptop I've done recently is, like, Total War Warhammer right. on, my, <laughs> on my notebook. But this might open the door to, later on the line, this kind of stuff being more common. Because right. the reason why I wouldn't is because there were always massive, ridiculous yeah. laptops I didn't want to carry around. <laughs> being able to get a, a 1060 in, like, a really nice, thin, Ultrabook-style form factor is pretty sweet. I don't know. That's a really nice... Yeah, be what'll be interesting too is uh, this is one thing I was thinking about earlier. We need to start including when we do a, a specs table of the weight of the laptops, include like yeah. the weight of the charger too. <laughs> that's a good point. Right, you're taking that's actually a really good go. point. Yeah, <laughs> it's always going to be with it. So yeah, yeah that's and smart. That's something we looked at. Uh, I was looking at one of the Razer blades down there. They have really small chargers. That's actually a good amount of the cost of yeah. the unit. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty Instead interesting. Instead of just like giant brick. Uh, yeah, literal <laughs> bricks, yeah. Yeah. Uh, production will be interesting too, like video production. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys use laptops for rendering and stuff at shows. Uh, at shows we do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we'll, we're currently using 980Ms for that. Yeah. And uh, I think this sort of 1080 setup for rendering would be a pretty good Absolutely good wicked, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, like, when I go on the road, I edit my own videos, and that's on a 970M. Right. So being yeah. able to step up from there is nice. It's usually fine, but every once in a while, when when jumping through footage, it'll yeah. it'll lag out a little bit. So stepping up would be nice. Right. Yeah. Any color correction and stuff like that kind of eats the render time too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then it gets so hot. And right. like with, with these cards, they're saying that it should be uh, thirty percent more battery life compared to. Uh, Maxwell, right, which is pretty sweet too. Yeah, because the the more battery life you get, uh, usually the lower the thermals are. Those kind of tend to go together, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, some thermal impact, and then they they've still got their battery boost tech. It's yeah. been improved though. Yeah. So now you can go up to uh, sixty FPS with battery. Battery boost is just when the Charger's disconnected, yeah, and uh, and so they'll sort of throttle the frame rate to keep the yeah. battery alive, right? But now instead of thirty, it goes up to sixty. That's so cool. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it impacts the battery. Do you know? I might have missed this part of the presentation. Is it customizable though? Can you still say thirty? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's good because sometimes like sixty is fantastic and great, but sometimes I want those like extra ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. it's if it's ex extra couple minutes and you're just playing like. Total War. Exactly, yeah. Example. I'm not right. super worried about 60 right. FPS and like the map version of right. Total War. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, that's the the laptops as we've seen them now. Yeah. Uh, we should definitely have some in-depth stuff at some point, if not already on the channel. This is all shot before the yeah. you know, the stuff yeah. goes live. I'm sure yeah. Linus Tech Tips. I'm doing something later Luke, on, yeah. Luke Tech Tips <laughs> will have something, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you can check out their channel. It'll be linked in the description below if yes. you don't already know it. Thank you. And as always, Patreon link in the post video. Subscribe for more content. Thank you for joining me, Luke. Yeah, no worries, man. We'll see you Good all next you. time.